Hi there, my name is Brian. I'm the author of How to Write a White Paper in One Day. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the three things you should do before you attempt your first white paper. In fact, before you attempt your first couple of white papers. As writers, we get this thing called imposter syndrome, especially as we're gonna take on a new kind of project, maybe one that we haven't done before. And we just get this feeling, it's like, who am I to be taking this on? I'm, I'm a total fraud. I have no idea what I'm doing. People are gonna see through me and it's gonna just be really embarrassing when I release this mess to the world or try to turn it in. And so a lot of that is false. You actually are, can you actually can be a better writer than you think. However, a little bit of worry is a good thing because it will help you prepare. And even uh, seasoned pros will just have a, a, a little bit of self-confidence issues before going into a new project because they don't take it for granted that they can do it. So a little bit of diffidence is a good thing. You can go look that word up. The first thing that you should do is really know about grammar and usage. I mean, really have that down. So if somebody were to ask you why you use a particular wording uh, or whatever, you know the rules behind that. So what I recommend, this is as good as a college English course, maybe even better, is a little book called The Elements of Style by E.B. White, the guy that wrote Charlotte's Web. It's less than 100 pages and it's incredible. I, even in college, I never got a book that was as concise and just went through the rules of style. It's journalistic style, but it works very well in business style. You know, you can break the rules sometimes, but you should know the rules before you break them. And so that when a client or someone at your company asks you about it, you're, you can be authoritative and tell them why you did this certain thing and, and why this usage is correct. The other book to read is called The 22 Immutable Laws of Branding. And basically, it's, it's not about how to write correctly, but it's, it's a strategic book on how to think about marketing and branding because that's what your white paper is. It's gonna be a marketing piece. And so you need to be thinking strategically as you write it. And this book will just take you through all these rules. They're so simple. Some of them are so simple that most people ignore them because they think they're too clever for them. And I've seen again and again over the years that the companies that have broken these rules have had failed marketing campaigns. So get those two books. The next thing you wanna do is get a feel for good, concise business writing. And that means you're gonna to wanna to read um, articles and journals and, and things that are written where they're gonna give you an example of this. And the first thing I always recommend is the Wall Street Journal. Um, not necessarily because you're gonna agree with its, uh, its editorial view, but because it's business focused. And I'm sure the writing at the New York Times is just as good, but the Wall Street Journal has more of a business focus. And I, I always say for white papers, you wanna sound like a Wall Street Journal reporter because a white paper is a report and you want to have that concise authoritative you know backing up your assertions with quotes and and talking to authorities another great place to get examples of good business thinking and good writing that makes sense and goes through a progression of ideas would be something like the harvard business review and you can get free articles for that online um, Again, they'll have these great thought pieces where they'll take a, a topic or a problem. It's actually quite similar to white papers sometimes. Other university business schools uh, will have their own journals and have great stuff. Stanford Business School, MIT, Penn, um, Kellogg. I don't even know where that is, but I, I get that one. Those are good ones to read to get a feel for what good business uh, writing sounds like, how you make a good argument. and then. Finally, I would say, go look at some of the, the commercial publications. Like I think of Forbes, Forbes has great thought pieces and people that wanna convince you of business case for certain things. Um, but also Inc. Magazine has good writing, um, Entrepreneur, Fast Company, Wired. There's a, there's a bunch of them. And again, a lot of those articles are available online to just get a feel for what good writing is like. And finally, I say I recommend that you go and observe white papers in the wild. And what I mean by that is go find some white papers. Go start looking at white papers that are produced and released by big consulting firms. Like I was looking at one uh, by Ernst & Young, 
and another one by Accenture. And these are policy papers in certain industries where they want to um, be consulting. They're very well done. The graphics are good. They're written to kind of be interesting for everybody. They're, they're not boring. Go and download them and uh, you know find your favorites. Get a folder on your computer where you collect white papers that you think are really, really good as good examples. And then I would even recommend uh, taking one that you think is especially good, print it out and diagram it. Say, hey, they're doing this with this argument and they're presenting this here and they're presenting this counterpoint here and just kind of go through and kind of reverse engineer what they did. That will make you a, a much better white paper writer. Finally, if you need to write a white paper right away, I have a I've written a little book called How to Write a White Paper in One Day. And it's basically like a step-by-step paint-by-numbers uh, with this template that will take you through everything you need to do to write your first basic white paper and have it come out great. It's on Amazon Kindle. Um, I've got it as a paperback you can get if you want it in paper. It's also uh, an audible audiobook, so um, you can get that if if you need to do one right away. Anyway, thank you for watching and good luck as you're getting ready to write white papers.